Okay, so the next thing I want to show you, I'm just going to leave. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you, I'm just going to pick up where I left off, is a pretty handy way of working with lights. So I'm just going to add a spotlight here, and since it's selected, I'm going to go into it with Control Numpad Zero. And here we are, it looks as if we're in the camera view, so you can do everything that you could normally do from a camera view, namely fly. So Shift F is enters fly mode, and from there you can uh, point and uh, you know aim your light. You can use uh, R to rotate. I use double R to sort of grab on something and, and look around. Um, and if I split the view here, and get rid of these stupid things. Just look at this from the side. You can also see that the clipping plane um, that you would normally associate with a camera is the same thing as uh, sort of the clip start and clip end. So if I, I'll just bring this really low. You can actually see from within the camera view how much the light is able to uh, uh, shadow. Um, and that's, that can be really useful when you need to be precise. Um, uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, and the, one of the things that makes this a little bit annoying is currently um, uh, there's not really an easy way to get back into the camera view where you were. Uh, I think in the previous version 2.49 you could uh, do the same thing again with control numpad zero or something and get back to where you were. Uh, it was more like a toggle. Maybe, uh, I forget what Pablo said. Um, but if you're using camera markers, it's easy enough to control click and jump right back where you were. So that's another reason to use uh, camera binding. Um, let's see, I think that's it. Uh, these are getting shorter. Bye.